Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today we're going to be working on the hood of my old uh, 08 Colorado. Now years ago I had an accident with a moose, ended up putting a second hand uh, hood on and it's got a couple little dips, we're going to repair them. But today I really want to focus on, I have one dent right here that came up from underneath and it's high here. So I could, I could hit this down with a hammer and try and bring it in with the dolly. Uh, there's a spot where I can actually get to it. But being it's a hood, it's so susceptible to oil can like that, that if I did that, I may cause more problems than I have right now. So what I'm going to show you today is when I've got a high spot, I'll just use my stud finder, give it a couple shots, and that'll shrink that metal down that's been stretched, and it'll flatten it out. And then we can, you know, put a little bit of uh, filler on it, make it perfect. Well, that's what we're gonna try and do. If you see my video, we're good to go. <laughs> okay, so first thing we gotta do is I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna try and get the light on it so that you can see it and then because you know we're working with electricity here we have to have this uh, sanded down to the metal. Now, I don't want to break through the galvanize that's on this but we got to get down to the metal. So we'll do that with some 100 grit see how that works out. First of all I'm going to show you that dent. see if I can get a, a, a light to shine on it right. All right, there is my high spot, right there. You can see it. It's not typical that you get one on a hood like that, but obviously, you know, just in storage at the auto wrecker, you know, you always get a little ding somewhere. All right, let's get at her. show you how much that's high quite a ways all right let's give her an attempt now when you get your gun of course it just has the tip like that so that you can uh, you know, stick a nail in it, right? But you can also buy this little shrinking tip, and it's just kind of a kind of goes up on an angle, goes up on an angle, bit of a high spot right there. But most people just don't have this, so I'm going to actually use this tip right here. And I'm going to show you that you can actually do it with that one there. All right, let's look. Things are a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, rough on here. I'm just going to sand my contact point here and around the ring here, just to clean them up a little bit before I get started. Okay, we're going to give this a, a quick shot. Like we're only talking about a half a second here. We're not going to sit there and just hold the gun down and pull the trigger. You're going to blow a hole right through this thing. Now right after you're done, you want to cool it down. I've just got a little piece of snow because I live in the land of snow and cold. So we're just going to find the high spot right here. Don't press too hard. care of it in one shot. I still got a high spot right here. But see how tight that is still? No oil canning at all. 
Still got a bit of a high spot right there. I'm just going to give it a shot. That's it. So two shots, and I got rid of that dent. Let's just take a file and we'll just file that and see how she looks. As you can see there's no high spot there at all. If anything, we got a little bit of a low spot. Not much, but just a bit. Now we do have some marks here where the edge, where are we at? Are we need zoom. Yeah, let's zoom back out here. We've got a couple marks here where, you know, the edge of our tip is. You wouldn't get as much if you used your shrinking tip, but I just want to use this one on something that is you know, you could really ruin real fast just to show you that it can be done. And that's all it took. Two little shots, done. It's pretty good. And we're out just a little bit. But because this is uh, shrunk, we can hammer on it a little bit because that is so tight. So now I can come up from behind. We're only, ooh, boy, that's pretty really, that's really, really good, really. But I can tap that just a tiny bit because this is shrunk and really, really tight. So I prevented any oil canning. Uh, in the middle of the hood, it's always the scariest place in the world to work. And we were successful. All right, now you can see I've got little X's. Well, you probably can't see them. But I put little X's here where the uh, my other little dents are. I'm just going to um, give them a little bit of a sand, put in some um, glazing putty because they're really, really minor, you know, dents, you know, they're from hail or from a rock. So I'm gonna fix those as well. Now one of the things, like I've marked this with, with uh, uh, a Sharpie, permanent uh, marker. Now that's usually a major, major no-no. But I know enough that I gotta sand that marker out of there completely. If you leave a little bit of that marker, doesn't matter how many coats of paint you put over it, you're still gonna see it. So make sure you sand out your marker. I got a couple little dents here, so I'm just going to uh, sand everything out. This one here is so minor now, I'm just going to use a little bit of glaze putty and uh, it'll be good to go. And then we can lay down some primer and then when I'm ready to paint the hood, I can paint the hood. Okay, I think I've succeeded in what I want to do today. But I'll throw in a little bit of me sanding and throwing in some uh, putty, you know, some bonus footage to kind of, you know, fill the uh, video up. Let's get at it. just to wipe everything down. I'm 
It might take a little while to dry, but that's okay. We're patient. Kind of. Now I'm using this, uh, this one here has to be called Half Time. It's, it's a glazing putty, but it's a two-part. If you're old school, we used to just use this red stuff. I just use that for pinholes now. That was a long time ago. This, these two parts, best thing ever happened. But you need a you need a harder. I'll find one. Try to give this a bit of a mix here. little bit of liquid on the front side. Okay. It went over it fairly quickly. I got my shop. It's pretty cold in here right now. It's the middle of the winter time. Too cheap to uh, heat her up. Too warm. It just takes a little longer, that's all, to set up. are just micro dents like this one here was just a little you know probably cost from a little chunk of hail most people just do this call it good we well, can see where the dent was but usually a dent microscopically goes quite a ways so you know too thick but make sure you go past your dent you'll be doing it twice Now I sanded this, I want to use uh, 100 grit just to get down to the steel. All this stuff here, this is uh, done with uh, 150. And then before I prime it, what I'll probably end up doing is sanding this whole front off here with 80 grit just to get all the chips off and then we'll put a fresh coat of primer on it. Still, it's still scratching with your fingernail. So it's only been about 10 minutes setting up. What I like to do is hit it with a little bit of 80 grit first. Um, my whole goal is just to be at the 150 grit mark and then I can put some primer on there. I'm going to use a high build. So you really don't have to have it, you know, bring it down to 220 or anything like that. 150 is plenty. Gives it a lot of uh, etch so that your primers are going to stick. But, sanding this to 150 from this point is a lot of work. So what I like to do is when it's still a little bit soft, hit it with some 80 grit, straighten it out, get it kind of close, and then when, we're, uh, when it's all set up and dry, then we can hit it with 150. And you don't want to sit there and just push really hard because you can bring this down and create more problems for yourself. 
Just a nice light touch. Take your time. Okay, we got it pretty close there. Still got a long ways to go, but that's good enough. We'll finish her off with some 150, probably in the morning, when this is all set up and dried, and we're good to go. All right, that was exciting. So I'm gonna finish these off, and we'll catch up to you in the morning. Time to sand this down with some 150 grit. Now we've got it close to the 80 grit. Now I use guide coat all the time. After from this stage on, doesn't matter what I'm doing, it really helps you see what's there and what you have to do. And some people think it's only for final sand. I use it for the body work, I use it for everything. Okay. Just a real light little shot. That's all you need. And the black, when it disappears, then you know you got everything all nice. Or if you've got a low spot, you're going to see some black. You know that you have to add some more, uh, um, more putty. But if you sand it out and everything works out good, black disappears. And you're happy. <clears throat> One more over here. Two more. Again, we're not going to go real, we're not going to be pushing really hard on this. Nice and easy. And you really want your, uh, your putty to blend in. Just do a bit of a zoom in on this. You can see that it's just a little bit high here. We're not quite there's just some uh, where it's peeled away a little bit from the paint. And you can start to see where we sanded through to our metal. That is absolutely perfect right there. So you can kind of see that we're just starting to see through and you can just see, just barely see the top of where we shrunk. That, with a little bit of primer on there, sand that out, be perfect.
Well, we accomplished what we wanted to do today. Actually, went a little further than what I really kind of thought we were going to do, but I had a real high spot in my hood, and I really wanted to show you the power of that stud gun and how it can just take something and shrink it down. I use that constantly. You know, when you're working on old vehicles, you're constantly shrinking metal, uh, trying to get rid of oil cans, and that's all I ever use. I don't use a torch, don't use anything other than just the stud gun to shrink my metal down. And a lot of people don't realize that you can do it. Give it a try. Take a piece of metal, put a dent in it, give it a shot, and prove to yourself what that gun can actually do. Then you'll realize that's your favorite tool from now on. All right, can't wait to uh, paint this. We are gonna go all the way around on my truck eventually, and I'm hoping by spring I can spray it. Um, it's getting pretty cold out right now, so it's really hard for me to do full spray jobs now. But there's quite a bit of work on the box, a lot of rust on this one, not too sure where I'm going with it. So, till next time, I don't know what project's next, but uh, I'll try to keep you uh, occupied and amused. Till then, thanks.